Hi right, YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 7. And, um, this one hurt a lot. It, um, well, I'll get into why it hurt by the end of it, I guess. But, uh, as far, first, as far as the beginning, the beginning was a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was beautifully shot. The whole episode was actually beautifully shot. And the beginning kind of showcased, uh, very importantly, what we saw at the end of the episode is that how big Walt's ego is and how much he really needs to feed it and what happens if you don't. And, um... So yeah, I mean, the opening, I thought the opening was just like really a lot of fun, but takes a much darker turn, or dar uh, darker, you know, let's say tint to it when you look at it through the prism of the rest of the episode. All right, just a quick thing with, um, I thought it was interesting in the scene where Mike had told Walt you have to remove the camera. I'm glad they got to that, where they got the, the camera out of, uh, the, the bug out of uh, Mike's office, uh, Hank's office, sorry. And... Um, there was a shot in it that looked like a security camera shot. They usually, I wonder if that's going to be the case, or it was just done to throw us off a little bit. Someone online even said that Marie's uh, picture, she was wearing a different color, like, sweater. I saw that. I didn't really look into that that much. I have no idea if that's bullshit or not, but whatever. So, excuse me, so, um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to come back and haunt Walt like everything else is going to. Everything with Skylar this episode was continually pretty sad. The whole thing with dinner, he starts talking to her and she just gets right up and walks away. Um, well, I guess it was more amusing than sad. But what was sad was at the car wash, we found out where he hid the, the methylamine. Um, you know, Jesse was there and he just says, says Vominos and she says, I wish. And just the way she was just kind of silhouetted and just looked like this like dark like figure, just like a ghost walking away. You know, I don't... It just sucks. And it was almost... It was like Jesse kind of looked at her. as like, you know, is there any way they might be able to, you know, figure out that they're both trapped by this guy and they both need to maybe team up or something? Or... I mean, she just looks such like, like a ghost figure that I think she... I honestly think she's on her way out. That's what's going on here more than anything. Very strong scene with uh, Walt and Jesse. It... They always have good stuff together, but I like that Jesse just called him on all his shit. And Walt tried to manipulate him in every possible way, and it just didn't work. And Jesse's starting to see the light a little bit more and more before even the really bad stuff comes out. So it's going to be much, I think, easier for him to just completely turn on Walt now because it's like a slow burn into like him really maybe investigating a little bit more into this. Now, this was a pretty much a Mike episode, and that... The second I kind of realized it was a Mike episode, I pretty much realized that it was probably going to be his last. But um, the whole thing with the lawyer, that while it was very funny to see Gomez like in there just like smiling, I've seen that gif online already so many times. It's very, very funny. But it sucks just kind of watching them get caught sometimes. And um, I like how Saul was like, you should have, uh, you know, you should have hired me. And it, like that, you know, like that helps at all. But uh, just awful, the whole scene at the park with his granddaughter, everything he's been trying to do is for his granddaughter and I thought it tied in really nicely to earlier in the season with Lydia when she said you know she didn't want her or she needed her daughter to find her and Mike didn't like that and he did the exact opposite he didn't go for the shootout he just went to run and uh, so she didn't have to see you know something awful happen to him but it was still it was ho horrible to watch and I hope I guess she's not going to get the money um I don't really know, but I, I'm just probably guessing she's not going to, and that just sucks even more. I've heard people had problems, and I kind of mentioned this a little bit last week, the idea that why would Mike want Walt to come to him at the end of the episode? Obviously, he doesn't want Jesse because he cares about Jesse, and he doesn't want to see Jesse get into trouble. Walt did tip him off. So maybe that made him think a little bit, you know, like, oh, Walt's not going to do something to me. It doesn't really matter because Mike's been kind of on the decline anyway, just not making the best decisions lately. Um, but still, you know, I've heard people, I mean, the second, you know, Walt said he'll go, I knew Mike was done. And um, it's kind of surprising because you think like, oh, we shouldn't think, we shouldn't be ahead of Mike. Mike should kind of be ahead of us. But, um, you know, it's kind of this thing where I think, the writers of the show, they were writing, you know, every new season of this show, but now they're writing the final season of this show, and that has to be different in the writer's room. And we know with a show like this that if everything's just going to go bad, then there has to be a point when things have to start going that way. 
and maybe it kind of forces their hand a little bit more and have to make characters make a little more rash choices than normal um like walt uh excuse me like mike mike letting walt come to him and um you know forgetting that there's a gun in the bag or something like that just yeah so i mean it, it's just it, i think it's just because it's a completely different thing when it's the final season this stuff has to start happening and because it kind of has to start happening maybe the writer's a little more handicapped by it uh and it, it, it's like a nitpick thing anyway i mean i you know i i kind of thought it really just added to suspense anyway because you didn't quite know if that's how it was going to happen i was pretty sure but you know from that moment on you were just like wow this episode is going to end you know pretty you know rather crazily so and it did the whole final scene was just um so well done i love mike just laying into walt and hurting hurting his ego which again from the beginning of the episode um he needs to feed that ego and mike was just bringing him down saying all the you know the right things and it was so drawn out and suspenseful i kept on waiting for walt to pull the gun out and shoot him right there and he didn't and i loved how he walked out of frame and then walked you know right back into it and that's when he knew it was over the funny thing when walt shot mike and mike ran away walt looked like walt for a moment like he was scared and a little remorseful you know remembering like oh i should have just you know asked lydia i didn't have to do this i don't think he'd say something like that unless he meant it so there's still some of walt in there just of course you see it after he does something awful i mean i think this is like the first time he's killed someone like out of just just cold blood basically like he didn't have to do it like everyone else he you know you could really like find a reason um mike was gone mike was gonna leave and he really didn't have to do this, but he did. Um, the whole final scene was just beautifully shot, and I love how Mike got, like, you know, the last, like, uh, just shut the fuck up in, and let me die in peace. And Jonathan Banks has been awesome on this show. So a character that, you know, like everything else in the show, you slowly realize that, you know, you just kind of love, and it's just... You know, I had said I was pretty sure Mike was going to go. I didn't know if it was going to happen in this episode, if it was going to happen in the next one. Um, but it sucked to lose him. And I think people were looking, I was looking online and people were saying that Gus has been, uh, or Giancarlo Esposito was in more episodes than Jonathan B Banks has been, even up to now. But Mike has been around for a longer period of episodes. So Mike is essentially the, a character that killed off that has, that he's been around the longest for us. So it makes sense that this one really, really hurts. Um, but the whole ending was just beautifully shot, and, um, yeah, I loved it. And as far as next week goes, you know, it's the last one until a, a year, which is sucks, but we know that shit's hit the fan. You know, is Jesse going to find out about something happened to, with, to Mike? How's Walt going to cover it up? Uh, can Walt get the names from Lydia and get to those nine guys in time before Hank does? And, you know, is someone else going to bite it next week? And if someone is going to go, my money's probably on Skylar. Just because I don't see an end. And any other way to, to, to watch her, like, end this um, first half or even the series without her. Like, she's going to go. And um, I really wouldn't be surprised if it happened next week. Um, and that'll just make it even more suspenseful and more, like, fun to watch. So, uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you thought. Adios.